Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with the one and only Mystery Meerkat, and today I have a different game to bring to you. This is a game that I've wanted for a while. Um, at the moment, it's actually on the Humble Monthly. Um, so if you guys want to go check that out, um, I would certainly recommend it. Humble Humble Bundle are, are really, really good um, just for the games and sales and things like that. Um, I'm not endorsed by them, I, I, this isn't a, a paid video or anything silly like that, I'm far too small for that, but uh, I, I really love Humble. Um, they allow you to give money to charity and they allow you to split up between the developers, Humble themselves and obviously the charities, um, and it's just a really, really great concept. Um, they do a monthly bundle whereby you get a couple of uh, games at the start um, up front as like early plays, um, and then they release uh, a lot more um, sort of at the end of the month, so yeah, I would recommend checking those out. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I got this through that, and um, to th this month, at the moment, uh, the early unlocks for it is Kingdom Come Deliverance and also Surviving Mars, which I already had. Um, but uh, Surviving Mars is really, really good. Uh, I've not really done any videos for the channel for it. Um, I kind of was going to, uh, but uh, I was waiting for Jurassic Park Evolution. Uh, I want to see how you guys reacted to that, see whether you want me to continue that series on or not. Uh, but yeah, let me know on that one. Um, if you want me to bring some Surviving Mars for you, I certainly shall do. But anyway, uh, basically this is a game that's set in medieval times. Um, you essentially play uh, as a guy who something terrible happens to him and it's basically all about vengeance. Um, and it's, it's supposed to be really historically accurate. Um, hardcore mode, yeah, I don't think so. More realistic. Recommended for players who are familiar with the essentials of combat and survival in the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Well, that's definitely not me. I'll be a I'll be a normal mode I think. So let's uh, let's see what this is like. Um, if you guys enjoy this as well, please let me know. Because um, I do I do kind of want to play this. Anyway, here we go. So the early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles the Fourth. But now with his son Wenzel, oh, it's going too fast. And the king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as half brother King Sigismund of Hungary. Yeah, that was, that was far too fast for me to read out for you guys, but hopefully you'll, you'll be able to pause that if you want to read it. It's rather cinematic, which I kind of didn't seem to expect. That guy was. He looked rather important. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm. Uh, I'm really going to enjoy playing this game for you guys. Uh, to be honest, so I really hope you enjoy watching me play it. Um, I'm not really going to try and do too much of the side quest stuff, I'm well, probably just going to stick to the, How goes it? Good. the main missions, but... I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. 
Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> So I'm thinking that this guy, Henry, is the guy that we're actually playing as. Morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Um. Oh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Okay, so we've got a little speech system here. Um, okay, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default char characteristics. You're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All char characteristics can be further developed without limitation. Oh, okay. Um, Matthias was teaching me archery. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? I was with Bian Bianca. Hmm. What does it matter? I think I'm going to go with Matthias was teaching me archery. No. It's just... Matthias was teaching me archery. Archery? Do you want to become a poacher? Have you any idea of the punishment for that? And where did you get a bow, anyway? Oh, come on. I've no interest in poaching. It's just a bit of fun. Oh, Christ, give me strength. Just don't do anything stupid. For the love of God. Promise. I promise. Okay. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. <laughs> oh, leave it be, mother. <laughs> I love it. Uh, my friends aren't drunks. You're misjudging them? That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... With Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You Ooh, mark nice. my words. I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. All right. Then. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. 
It's looking like such a nice day. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right, then. I guess I'm going to go and eat some foods. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's really sensitive. Uh, how's the sensitivity on my mouse? It's normal. Okay, let's just turn the sensitivity down. Controls. Mouse sensitivity. Turn it down a little bit. Save changes, of course. Alright, let's see if that's better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's eat. Eat any food, pick it up. In the inventory, in the, in the inventory, in the tab, food, select what you want to eat, and then eat it by holding E. That really... So we can pick the apples up. We can pick this up, whatever this is. What is it? No? Oh, I got a buddy. Nice. Oh, bread rolls. I think I might need to turn the mouse sensitivity down a bit more as well. Oh, we can sit to the table? Oh. Well, that makes sense. Oh, this can't be done. Well, what? <laughs> well, what's the point in that? <laughs> so you can sit down, but you can't pick stuff up while you sat down. That's stupid. Oh, cheese. Or some cheese. Like a bit of cheese. Right, let's have a look at this inventory tab. Whoa, okay. Uh, apple. Eat the apples. What have we got? Health, energy, nourishment. 42. Nourishment, 71. Also, we need to eat more food. This guy's like, I'd like, God knows how many apples right now. Can we pick up the other apple? There we go. There's some more apples over here. I don't know if I can get to them. I'm here. What's this? Lentil soup. Are we going to pick up the lentil soup? <laughs> okay, then. Right, that makes total sense. Let's take all this stuff with us. You know. Uh, can we crouch? Stealth. If you want to sneak in somewhere, make sure no one sees you or hears you. Whether you're seen or not depends on the light and your clothing. Whether they hear you depends on the surface you're moving on and your attire, especially your footwear. Okay. Open. Ooh. They call it that. Right, okay. Let me turn the sensitivity down ever slightly again. Uh, like so. Go back, save those changes. I want to turn the voice volume back up. Because I can't quite hear what they're saying sometimes. They're very, very quiet. It looks like a gun, but it's not. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a sleep, sweeping brush. Right, that makes total sense. Um, nothing else around here, I don't think. What's this? Entry of some description. Oh, we got like 15 onions in here. Well, I'm just supposing this is where they keep all the food. What's going to be in here? Lockpick easy. You don't have a lockpick. Figures. Right, okay, well, let's go and see farther, I suppose. There's a scythe there. Compass will tell you where to go. There you go to father. What's B? I don't know what B is, but it's outside, I think. Right. Let's go see father. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. While I'm talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. There's a lot of uh, writing here, guys. So if you want to, uh, if you want to read it, just pause. Uh, I'm going to really quickly read it. But I'm probably going to cut it out. So.
All right, so there's the second page as well. So I'll let you guys pause this again uh, if you want to. Right, okay, so we see that we don't know what Fathers is in the bottom corner there. Um, sorry, I wanted to have a look around. That's my highest one. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <clears throat> sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Right, okay. So we've got a few things to do here, guys, now. You find all the information about the quest in the log, and for clarity, they are also indicated on the map. So does it say J is the quest log? A really weird. Yeah, it's a weird uh, key to have for the quest log. Um, I think you can just get to it by going through the inventory as well, to be fair. Yeah. Right, so. Uh, go to the sword fighting lesson. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Collect the debt from Kanesh. Pick up the cross card at the castle. Buy ale at the tavern. This is quite a long quest. So. Oh, this is actually pretty cool, because it gives you like a little synopsis of what's going on. So... For some reason, I don't want to learn to defend myself. Uh, I'm supposed to meet by the Ale House again today. Oh, well, we can do that when we go to the Ale House. So let's go to get the debt from Kanesh first. So we'll get the debt, buy a bag of charcoal, pick up the cross guard, and then go to the sword fight and lesson, buy ale, etc, etc. Right. Let's do that. So where is C? C's down that way. Can we run? Certainly can run. Right. I'm going to head this way, I think. Uh, I may just cut to when I get to Kanesh, guys, to be fair. So bear with me. Right. So he's around here somewhere. Oh, here's this him. Kanesh. God be with you, Kanesh. What do you want? Money. Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got Help. nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Oh, will you now? Okay. Let's see if we can persuade this guy. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off, booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt. And I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No. Oh. Well, I'll teach you then. My thieving father, Bye. eh? Oh, okay. So we got unarmed combat. 
Okay. So we can do a hook, a jab, a kick, lock on opponent, switch to next opponent, unlock, block. Alright, so there's a lot going on in this game, guys. I did not expect it to be as detailed as it actually is. Uh, Indicate shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. Uh, the more, wound more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react. When the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender. Uh, if an opponent strike hits your armor or you block it, it will cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely depleted, you won't be able to defend yourself and will be wounded. Attacking will also deplete, deplete your stamina. Especially when wielding a heavy weapon. Uh, if you cover yourself badly and your arm is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding. Bleeding leads to death. The more your health is depleted, the lower your maximum stamina. Okay, so. Alright. Fine. Fine. Bring it on! Uh, yeah, but... Uh, uh, oh! Bugger! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Go try and kill this guy. Uh, uh, Oh god. Oh, this guy doing me in. What's up? Shit yourself? No. I'm actually trying to get a punch on you. I think I'm doing quite well in this. Oh, how does he grab hold of me like that? No, I've not had enough. Oh man, this guy's doing me in. Uh, how come whenever I punch him, like it literally doesn't even do anything to him? Like seriously. Maybe I'm not supposed to win the fight. Maybe I'm literally supposed to lose. I'm not entirely sure. Cunt. Seems to be attacking me a lot more now. Oh, there we go. So he's knocked me out. I, I don't think I'm supposed to win that fight. Your old man can fuck off too. I'll just knock him out. Like. So I thought I was doing really well in that, guys. Like. The guy was not losing any health at all. Which makes me believe that he's not. Well, we weren't supposed to win the fight if we actually got in a fight with him. Ah! Ah! Ma! I, I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now. Stop squealing like a baby and show me that. There you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. It doesn't look good as new. I still got blood all over me. Right, okay. Now what do I do? Well, I've got to get the off like the money off him somehow, surely. Maybe I'm supposed to rob him? Let's go and have a talk to Father. Let's see if, if he says anything about it. 
about the things you want. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I when I asked off. Kulish to pay, he fought me instead. That bastard. You don't look too bad, though. Did you get the better of him? No. I'm fine, but he didn't give me the money. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll sort him out this evening. I've no time for him now. But without Kunish's money, I can't buy those other things you wanted. Here's coin for the charcoal and the ale. I'll get it back from that mongrel this evening. Okay, well I don't... I don't really want to rob him. Well, I really think we should. Maybe I should have just gone and robbed him. No, because then I'd have probably lost reputation anyway, right? Robbing him if, if my father had found out, so... What a douche. Maybe we should just go beat him up anyway. Welcome. Get some How charcoal. Now in shops, you have to per, uh, put your purchases into your basket and then either confirm the purchase or try to haggle. Okay. How many, like... What do they cost? 0 0.5 each, so we can get 14. Uh, so we can haggle. Oh, we can, gotta hold it to haggle. Can we do something about the price? I. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear, you select the amount you want to pay or get W and S and confirm with E. Uh, well I, I want to pay 7. Since it's you, that's not enough. So that's all I've got. Right, that would do it. Thank you. I could have probably only got away with buying ten, but um We got the charcoal. Thanks ever so much for watching this particular episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance, guys. Uh, if you have indeed enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Uh, any comments that you've got, leave them in the comment section down below. And lastly, if you've not already done so, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. And also make sure you've got that little notifications bell ticked so that you get all of the content from me when it's released. Anyway, guys, with that being said, peace out.